loves, what's up? Welcome back to whatever this vlog ends up being. I figured because I was going to work on my extensions, I might as well chill with you guys. Rocking my huggle. It's probably got snacks on it. I just ate a taco salad. So, you know, whatever. But what we're going to do is Irresistible Me just sent me a new set of extensions. If you guys have been around a while, you know that they're my absolute favorite. Thank you so much to Irresistible Me for sending these over. This video is not sponsored by them or anything, but they did send these. So, of course, I have to mention them. There is a link below. I am an affiliate with them now, which is great, which I'm excited about because I really do love their hair extensions so, so much. So, what I ended up getting... Can we talk about how cute this is though? Their bubble wrap has tiny hearts on the packaging. Is what is my buns, you guys? When I put on my huckle, they just kind of so just bear with it. <laughs> so I'm actually going to keep my hair the exact same. I'm gonna keep it with the blonde and the brown. I'm still enjoying it and I'm not ready to let go of my blonde chunk yet. So, so you guys, the set that I have been wearing is a set of the Royal Extensions. If you want like boom, big hair, the Royal Extensions are the way to go. I was using, let me, I'm gonna look up the exact names of everything just so I have them, whatever. By the way, the only light I'm using is that little tiny one that I've been telling you about and I hope that this looks okay. Okay, so the set that I was wearing was the Royal Clip-In Hair Extensions, and I got them in Platinum Blonde and then colored them, of course, part three-fourths of them, or more of the brown, and then the rest blonde. As you, I hope you can see how this is. Um, don't judge me, I missed the spot right here, but no one could ever see it, so I just left it. This one is, like, sewn together. There's, like, the actual weft, which I, I love these, and I go back and forth between the two sets. And then the ones that I got this time are the invisible clip-ins, again, in number 60 platinum blonde, because I do color them, plus obviously I've got a blonde chunk that I need to touch up. Uh, but I believe I got them in 24 inches. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, let me show you what these look like. And they do come with this little like piece, so if you take this out and you're like, oh, this is not the right hair, although of course I color mine, but if say you, have brown hair and you got a brown and you just don't think it's the right color you can send it back as long as you don't break the seal on the other pieces so if you look at this you can see it's much flatter <laughs> this is not the most ideal lighting situation uh but it's just much flatter it's when we style my hair i'll probably style my hair in this video too just so you guys can really see the difference between the old ones and these ones just like the difference of volume and stuff like that and how these sit on your head uh so I'll try and give you a better shot there but yeah they're just they're just they look what they're designed to lay flat against your head so I just like having both these ones are I didn't say on the website what the grams are so I'm not sure so I'm gonna go ahead and divide these up really quick and then we will get to coloring them so for the brown I'm just going very basic this is shades EQ from Redken in 4N it's really close to my natural color. And then for the blonde, I'm just toning with the Pulp Riot Icy Toner, always and forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up. I'm just using this 10 volume for the brown and then don't mind this looking nasty. <laughs> or should I use the six volume? Hmm. I think I'll use the six volume for the toner. Yes, because normally I use the Pulp Riot six volume and that's, I'm out of it now. So I'm just gonna use the what I have left over, which is the guy tank, my identity. All right. Okay. BRB. Okay, good. We're focused. I am just putting this in here. I'm just going to start with one whole tube. I have a, I have a whole nother tube here though, just in case. I have my hair. You can't see me, but that's fine. I have my hair in sections. So I've got the left side of my head, which is my blonde side. Um, but part of these are going to be brown anyway, sectioned out my right side and the back of my head. So I know to go all brown, half brown, half blonde. You gotta be very careful because I don't wanna mess this up. I think it's a one to one. So I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just vibing, you know, just vibing. I've got gloves, my last pair of gloves. So I'm just gonna start with just the brown for now. My one, two, three, four. Luckily my hair right now is not really that complicated. I can easily mess it up because of the blonde and the brown, but really most of these are just gonna be brown. And because it would be so difficult to lighten a brown set to blonde, it's just much easier for me to get the platinum 
and dye most of it brown. I could buy two sets or like get a second set, but you know, this works just fine. It's gonna try and get it all the way up by these little clips. You can see that it's already changing color. Okay, and I do always go back later and double check because as you can see the last pieces that I put this on are still blonde. It hasn't set in yet. I don't know what the magic is of the chemistry of it all. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why it does what it does, but you know, we'll see. I'm going to take my fingertips and just kind of work through this just to make sure that it's all coated and to the end. Did, oh, I found the spot. So we got to fix that one. Sure, there's a much better way to do this but this is definitely the fastest way <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the brown and then show you when I get to the blonde because I feel like this is just very redundant BRB you guys <laughs> you can't see I messed up I didn't record the blonde at all but it's fine all I did was mix the toner up and put it on exactly like I said so I put it on um one of the two pieces one of the one pieces and then half of one of the two pieces if that makes sense at all um i'll show you when they're done of course but i'm gonna actually go touch up my roots because i have some extra color left over so i'm gonna go do that and to be honest i'm very sleepy so i'm just gonna go do it uh and i'll show you these guys tomorrow Hey loves! Okay, so we are going to go ahead and put these extensions in. They're all colored and layered and everything, so they are good to go. I do want to show you something kind of funny though. <laughs> uh, so you know how I had both the 6 volume and the 10 volume sitting by me? I'm pretty sure I used 10 volume on this tube of hair color, which is all of my back pieces. And then I used 6 volume on my side pieces. So you can... <laughs> Plus these I did first, so not only were they a higher volume, they were on probably 10 to 15 minutes longer than these ones. Um, and they're definitely different shades of brown. This one's almost black and this one's just like a dark brown. We'll see how it goes. If I need to touch them up, I will, but I'm honestly, when it comes to extensions like this and once they're all curled, I'm pretty sure it's gonna look totally fine. It looked fine when it was in my hair after getting them cut, um, but I haven't fully styled them. I kind of put a few waves in them and then put a beanie on that day to go run errands, but I haven't really styled them. Uh, so here's my natural hair. I have not gotten an actual haircut in way too long. I need to do that. I just keep getting just my extensions layered, but <laughs> she's growing. She is growing, you guys. I just cut off a couple inches not long ago at all, and they're definitely back, which is nice. I've just been using that uh, Amazon hair vitamin, what are words. So we're just gonna do my hair today. My hair is clean. I washed it last night. Um, I need to do my roots on my blonde side, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna rock it because I'm trying not to, I'm trying to like let it go as long as I can until it drives me nuts and then redo it because I'm not ready to let it go yet, but I also don't want to add any more damage when I don't really need to. If you've been around a while, you've probably seen me do this before, but we're gonna do it again. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm very excited to see what these look like all styled but in my hair. I am going to go ahead and use some of this Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. It's what I've used for forever. And my really gross teasing comb. I got this at Sally's. And I'm just taking this top crown section. Oh girl, you can't see me, hold up. Maybe that'll be a little more helpful. Um, pulling this. And I might have to go on with my other teasing comb because this is my clean hair day. And I feel like, if I don't look in the mirror, you guys, it's just <laughs> hard to do this. Um, I'm gonna have to use my other comb because when my hair is clean, it really does not want to tease. These extensions, honestly, they lay a little flatter so you don't have to do as much back combing. So if you aren't into back combing and you want to try extensions, I definitely recommend these ones uh, with the like invisible band. I'm sure you'll see because you guys see how big my hair is all the time and I swear it just like looks a little bit more sleek with this. If you want like volume, 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 definitely go with the Royal Clip-Ins. But if you want like a more of a sleek, long, just more hair, uh, I think these ones are perfect. Just doing the same thing on the side. I don't have my glasses on either because it gets in the way when I put my extensions in. So this is, sorry, I have to keep looking at the mirror, but there's no way with this type of viewfinder I'm going to do this. The longer I wear glasses, the more I very much rely on them. 
and realize I can't see very well without them. So it is what it is. Oh, she's she's foofing today, which is nice. Normally, first day hair does not hold at all. But that's a nice poo. <laughs> my hair feels so good, you guys. I used my K18 mask last night after I washed it. Um, this guy, very expensive, but so worth it. So worth it. If you have a super damaged hair, I swear this is a big component on why my hair is growing. This and those hair vitamins, I think, are really making a difference. I'll link it down below because every time I mention it, somebody asks and then I forget to link it, but I'll try and link it. All right, I'm gonna put up the top half. I don't know why I always tease it before I put it up, but I do. Now I've got all of this length that is growing, but it's still not long enough where, I mean, if you see it with my extensions, you can tell I have extensions in. So I just braid it and pin it up under my hair. Whoops, I literally just messed up a braid. How do you mess up a braid? I did it. Whoops, dropped a bobby pin. So I just put two bobby pins in the back. Nothing fancy. I'm sure there's a ton more people that do this a lot nicer, but. <laughs> and I have these all labeled. So once I got them layered, as I took them out, I labeled them. Um, so right here, I've got B1 through B4, which are my back ones. I'm gonna put in B1 and B2. And for this set, I just put all of the three clips in back. And I actually, I'm sure I told you I cut one of the, the only four clip in half, so I'd have another two clip for each side. But I just kind of start right above the braid, low enough that I know I can still put, you know, three more in there. And please don't judge my curling iron. It's on its last leg. It's been on its last leg for like a while, and it looks really gross. And there's probably toothpaste on it, but we're real life here. <laughs> We're real life here. I almost bought the cutest one that was like a longer barrel. It was like purple. Oh, I should have got it while I was at TJ Maxx because it was absolutely perfect and it was ceramic. I don't know what this one is, but I don't think it's as nice as that one. But anyway, um, you can see how long these are. These, so these are actually still a little bit curled, but I'm just going to curl them. I always just curl pretty much everything away from my face. I don't know. It's how my mama taught me when I was younger. And I'm not going to curl them too, too long. And I have sprayed them with a little bit of heat protectant. I use just a little bit of this guy, which is the Eva NYC Strengthens Heat Protector Reduces Frizz. It's the Main Magic, sorry, Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. Okay. Now hopefully you can see, I don't know about this lighting, but hopefully you can see that this side is now curled. One, two, three, really that's it. I probably could do it longer and it might last longer, but I'm always like, that's all you really need. And I like looser waves anyway. So, one, two, three, boop. I feel like every time I make one of these videos, it feels like it takes so long because I'm explaining every step on how to do this. But on a day where I'm just getting ready, I mean, my hair can take like 20 minutes, but usually not more than that, depending. And a lot of times, once I really curl these extensions, it's much easier to just pop them in. And back in the day when I wore extensions and like had to go to a job every single day, I would just like throw a beanie on. I would just clip them in and throw a beanie on and be good to go. It honestly made my hair. It took less time to do my hair because of my extensions because they would hold a curl. Oh no, I've intertwined the hair. So now I've got to figure this out. Luckily, it's already been slightly waved. Normally, I would keep it separate. Sorry, guys. But this is fine. What's nice about these hot tool corn irons, too, is they have this base that swivels. So if you've got arthritis like me some days, I can just, like, much more easily twist this than using my whole hand, which I appreciate. Okay, so that's it for the first, the first big part. Now we're going to do this side. I'm just parting over here. Putting this on top of my head. I tease this piece up a little bit because it's gonna hold some hair. So for this side, last time I had a little bit more blonde, but I feel like my blonde piece keeps getting smaller. So I made one of them just solidly brown to put back here. So. Very repetitive, guys. I should go do something after this. I feel like I need to get out of the house. Go to Michael's. I think we should go to Michael's and Ross because they're next to each other. And now I've got my half and half piece. So I'm going to try and place it, you know, roughly in the right spot. So the blonde's in the blonde and the, I'm not too anal about it. 
And if you don't want to curl them while they're in, you guys, you can, sometimes I just curl them when they're out of my hair. I just try and figure out which way is the way that's going to be away from my face. Especially if I want to get like the curl up in the top of the piece because it's just easier. And again, we go for messy, messy curls here. So it just makes my life a lot easier to pretend I'm intentionally messy, which who doesn't love messy curls, you know? These bangs, always and forever. Get out of there. So now I've got a full blonde two for piece popping in. And then my one blonde piece. I honestly probably won't show you the all brown side because I feel like this is getting very repetitive and you guys get what I'm doing. I am just curling everything away from my face. Yes, new weave. It always makes me so excited, you guys. Um, Okay, I am going to pop in the brown side and then we will curl the rest of the top layer really quick. Be right back. Okay, I don't know why my hair is being so nice to me about this like volume situation. It's never this easy. I'm gonna curl this all away from my face. So you probably just speed through this because it's very self-explanatory. Can we tell this chunk of hair? Oh, this chunk of hair grows. It just like does not want to grow. I mean it's growing, but not as fast as the length. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute and then run my fingers through it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, loves, here's what we are looking at. I love them. I'm really enjoying them already. I probably will pin back my bangs before I go, which I literally will just like take a bobby pin, you know, just because they love to fall forward. Keep hoping someday I'll train them, but I haven't. Oh my gosh, this hair is almost to my booty. Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go run some errands. Uh, thank you again to Irresistible Me for these extensions. I love them always and forever. If you guys are interested, I will leave my affiliate link down below to check out Irresistible Me. Uh, they did not pay for this video or anything, but they did send me these extensions and I am an affiliate, just so you guys know. Uh, but I feel like getting out of the house, so I'm gonna go get dressed. I have PJ shorts on. Get dressed, feed the cats stuff like that and then let's go do something fun i think we're on michael's and maybe ross is what i'm thinking we'll see all right <laughs> let's go hey loves okay so i left the house which is good i thought i would just sit here and chat with you for a minute plus i've got some boxy charms girl i've got literally four boxy charms right here that i need to unbox um so i'll probably do those quickly i probably won't do a thorough unboxing but i will show you what what i got uh but i just wanted to sit and chat with you guys for a minute because i haven't vlogged really besides doing like the hair stuff um since my last vlog where I was very emotional and I was talking about like my PMDD and my journey to try and like you know getting on birth control and seeing how it's go how it goes if I can speak um I'm very like brain foggy which I mean can be attributed to my autoimmune issues because that does happen any normal day but um with the pmdd it has been worse and uh anyway so i just wanted to kind of give you an update and i didn't want to talk about it until i had any sort of like a positive update because when i just came back to you guys it was still upset by the way again thank you so much for all of that love i never got a chance to respond to all the comments i just honestly until the last couple days have just been so mentally overwhelmed it's been just cat hair <laughs> just been a little unbearable to be real with you but i kept pushing and i am pushing so i'm gonna ramble about that for a minute so if you're not interested in health stuff you can go ahead and skip forward or boxy charm go for it uh but i feel like this is gonna be a very long vlog because i just have stuff to say i just have stuff to say so i have been back on birth control for about a month now and i have to be honest with you guys the first month um i felt terrible every single day it's been a little over a month and the doctor did warn me that I was probably going to feel pretty crappy um, and it was probably going to take three months to even notice a difference I can't tell if how much of a difference there actually is or if just like the first month was worse I don't know but I feel like most of the last month I've been operating at like 10% to be honest with you I'm still not 100% but I'm finally feeling a little bit more normal I'm finally having a couple good days and as you guys know as I rambled before um in a month, I would have like one good week and three bad weeks. The whole last month has been bad. Um, and I think that's also like what my best friend also started birth control again. So she's been going through the same thing and she's been super emotional. I feel like mine's like even more insane because of the PMDD. But to hear that she's been feeling all of these things and still crying and like, because birth control makes you emotional anyway when you start it because it is a bunch of hormones. Uh, but I'm hoping that this is a good sign and let's all cross our fingers because I would really like to live 
you know, a little bit more of a normal life and not be so exhausted always. By the way, this lash keeps popping off. So she pops off, even though I fixed her right before I left. She's a turd. <laughs> She's a turd. These lashes are literally from the dollar store. They were like LA colors or something. Um, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to kind of update you and say things are improving and fingers crossed. I've got two more months to go to try it out. And so many people have been like, I've heard both things. People have been like, oh my gosh, birth control made my PMDD worse, which you guys, it definitely, this last month has been bad. It's been bad. So I can completely see that. Um, but I think my desperation to want to push through to feel better, um, it's just like, maybe I'll deal with like all of this feeling terrible at once and maybe it'll, you know, help. And I don't expect it to be a cure-all or anything, but any improvement after, you know, these few months will be great. Um, and a lot of you guys asked like what my symptoms were, um, but basically imagine like really, really bad PMS, but it also just like affects me mentally. I feel like I'm not really myself, like I'm myself and I'll know that I'm being a brat. <laughs> like I'm being anxious. I'm being, you know, angry. I am, you know, crying all the time. And like, but it's like, I can't, I can't help it, even though I know I can help it. And now I feel like I'm, a, I'm and only in the last couple of days have I felt a little bit more in check with being able to control my emotions. And I mean, obviously I can control my emotions. Like even on some days when I'm filming, like I just like get that done and push through that. And just, it gives me something to focus on, which is great. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I can't even form all my thoughts. I've been drinking so much caffeine lately and I'm trying not to drink as much today as I am just dragging. But anyway, so do research if you think you might have it. Um, definitely talk to a professional. I do. I feel like none of this is making sense, but I just wanted to check in. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is I'm going to unbox these really quick. Um, I'm going to respond to the bean because he just texted me and then we're going to go to Michael's and Ross. And honestly, that might be it because the only other thing I could possibly do is just go to Trader Joe's and we do that all the time. I know you guys don't mind. I don't know if I'll even fall up to it after all of this. I might just go tomorrow. I don't really need need anything but I've been really bad at preparing meals the last month so I'll like buy veggies and I'll eat like part of them some days I have a good day and I want to make a big meal or I want to actually make something and then some days I just eat protein bars all day <laughs> because uh it's just easier I have a car driving right next to me so I'm gonna give them a second um so I have last month's boxy charm because again I'm sorry my brain was just not here the last month so I messed up a few times tbh but this was sitting in my mailbox so i have a brand new one so we'll start with the newest one and then i'll show you last month's which there's literally three i feel so bad i'm sorry everything costs but i'm really going to just bust through these really quickly um oh we got some beauty bakery they really do package them well which is nice i don't even know the last time i got anything um busted in boxy charm this is the first thing this is the beauty bakery eyeshadow palette okay i'm sorry but we gotta we'll bust through the other ones because they're old <laughs> But I still want to show you because I feel like it's really important. If you guys want to try Box Charm, I do have an affiliate link just so you guys know. Um, this isn't sponsored by them or anything, but they just send me these for free. Oh, she's cute. She's very bright. Brightness of the sun is beaming on me, which is nice. But, you know, I feel like I smell lemon, but I don't know if that's just me thinking I should smell lemon. And that lemon is a possibility. Who knows? So that's the first thing and that guy is worth $38 and then we've got the sun is always so bright pure heels pure pure <laughs> by nature valley it is a real rose petal sleeping mask so we've got a sleeping mask we've got christopher robin instant volumizing leave-in mist oh yes girl there is a persona eyeliner i'm not going to open it because it's like in a package it's just in black um which I'm down for. And then what is this? Oh, what cool packaging. It's got like a <laughs> packaging. Um, but this is a mascara. Uh, lash, lash snack mascara in Midnight Mood item. Oh, item beauty by Addison Ray. I didn't know she had her own. I'm out of the loop, guys. Um, I have to put it back here so you can even see it. But it's a mascara. So let me add it up really quick. 38 plus 55 plus 39 plus 15 plus 14 is 161. So $161 value for $25. Holla. So that's the latest one. Just the base box. And then, ooh, girl, do we really want to do all of these? I feel like that's just so much. 
so much. They sent me this little bonus, um, bonus Jonas. It said that they weren't able to get me the right color, so we'll see. Oh, too neutral. They sent me the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Foundation, which I've never tried. I got it in shade two, so neutral. I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see. So thank you. This was like a bonus Jonas from BoxyCharm. They're all sealed. Hold on. Okay, I got this other one open. This is just the base box again. Maybe we'll just do the base boxes. Maybe I'll just like show you what's in the other ones. I don't know. I just feel now I'm... Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I got a Rare Beauty product, which I have been pumped about. So, we've got a Rare Beauty. Can you see anything? Can you even if I like? No. That sun just does not want to show you anything. Maybe this was a bad idea. This is a Rare Beauty primer. Um, always, oh, always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. So, we've got that. Then we've got a Lauren Conrad the eyeliner in black. We have, I'm assuming these are brushes. Luxie brushes. Oh, they're cute. They're minty. Minty brushes and a tiny little sponge. That's cute. Brightening Vitamin C Mask by Frank Body. Oh, good. I think you can see it now. Um, and then Generation Skin Hydrating Marine Aloe Eye Patches. Not bad. Not bad. Let me see what the value is on this one. 155. So around the same, 150 to 160 on these, um, which is not bad at all. And I feel like they're all pretty interesting products that I will probably use. Like you can never have too many brushes. Okay, I'm gonna open another one just because now I'm just like into it and I wanna know what I got. Okay, so this next one is a BoxyCharm Premium, which I think is 35, but don't quote me on it. I, I mean, everything everywhere, no matter what it is, is more expensive now. So, you know, you know this guy comes with six products. Okay, so the value of this box is $239. We've got the Nuco, the pill. Um, I think this is, it says everything your skin needs in a single daily dose. So that's some cool packaging. This is the, wow, this, this little 1.01 .01 fluid ounce is worth $85. That's crazy. What I love about BoxyCharm is like I could never, I could never afford that right now. Not even close. Um, and then, ooh, muscle gel, de stress focusing and soothing. That's cool. Um, this is by Aromatherapy Associates London. I keep having to put it back here. I'm sorry. That's such a weird way. I'm like, hey, can you see it now? Um, then there is Everything is Better in Pink Eye Mask by Grace and Stella. And then we've got some fragrance free teas. Soul Care Skin Transformation Cream, Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer by Ciate, and then we've got some Big Bang, yes, mascara, um, the Big Bang Mascara from Aether, Aether Beauty, I don't know, A-T-H-R Beauty, so there's that box, oh my goodness guys, we've got one more, we might as well do it at this point, right? Um, this last box is the Lux box, the Lux box only comes out, I think, four times a year, I think it's quarterly, um, and the first thing I pulled out was the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, this guy right here is 48, I think it just said, I just asked Siri, and I think she said it was $330 value in this box, so this alone is worth $48, this Natasha Denona palette, and it says it's in Cupid and a BoxyCharm exclusive, so that's pretty cool. So, oh, 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 it's got a butt on it. It's got a butt on it. <laughs> see the booty? Can you see the booty? Um, this is the Perky Sculpting Body Hydrator. I'm your dream cream with a double shot of coffee. Oh my gosh, I have to see what this looks like. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, wow. But first, coffee. But first, coffee. Wow, and there's a booty on the top. Wow, I'm impressed. This is cute packaging. Cute, cute packaging. Eight items. We get two. Here is three. Stay calm. Soothing sheet masks. Give them a la la. Sheet masks. Um, we've got some filter out daily blue light defense mist from Complex Culture. We have some. Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Retinol Overnight Serum. Oh my god. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. I have been wanting to try this. This is the Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. Um, I bought it from Sephora and felt guilty and actually returned it because I couldn't really afford it. So I'm very, 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 very excited that this is in the box because I've been wanting to try this and I know this guy. She's not cheap. $34, $34. So I'm very excited. Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. Yes, 
Yes, very excited. Ren Clear Skincare Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. That looks rad. Is this a lipstick? Lawless, forget the filler. Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. Ooh, so that's cool. That was a really good box. I'm very excited about this Lux box. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling about BoxyCharm. I'm sorry, that was probably at least 10 minutes of just BoxyCharm, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to check out box term again, there is a link down below. But now we're going to pop in Michaels. Why I'm going to Michaels is I saw some TikToks on some really cute decor, some spring decor that's like half off right now. So I thought maybe I could find something cute. There's this little like green bowl I really want. Um, but I thought I might be able to find something maybe for like my backdrops. I'm still not 100% happy with them. They still have a way to go. I'm just kind of decorating as I find things. But um I feel like my hair is just like discombobulated. I forgot to bring a snack, so we'll see how long I stay out because <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Uh, but because Ross is right next door, I'm still on the hunt for that mirror that I keep seeing everywhere. It's like a dupe for the anthropology mirror and people have been finding it at Ross. So I just keep looking or maybe if I find one, any, any one that I really like would be nice. Uh, but there's so much cheaper at Ross than anywhere else. So I might pop in Ross. We'll see, but I'm at least going to go pop in Michael's really quick. I feel like this is the most mishmash of a vlog, but would it be one of my vlogs if it wasn't a mishmash of something? Uh, but I love you guys. Uh, let's go to Michael's. Oh, and I'm looking for a bird house. I'm gonna look for a burb house. A burb. A burb. I don't know why I have to call it a burb, but a bird house. Because I want to put one in my backyard because my cats love watching the birds and the squirrels and stuff. So they have some like teeny tiny ones for like a dollar here is what I saw online and like heart shaped. So we'll see if we can find them. I don't know. We'll see. All right, loves, let's go to Michael's. They have lots of organizational stuff up front, which was really cool to see. I am all about that life as someone who has major trouble staying organized sometimes. Uh, I thought these little vases were cute. There's a whole strawberry collection, you guys. Oh my goodness. I could have bought so much of it. It's so adorable. I really need to get a couple of these I think they are so cute it was all half off as well by the way right after I picked this up I knocked a bunch of those over <laughs> um, but Sally didn't get it on camera how perfect is this wreath I may need to go back for it this was the collection that I really wanted to look at I hadn't even seen this little shelf and I was like oh no girl if you guys know me and you remember if you've been around a while there was a shelf similar to this i have it in my living room that i found at ross so it's hard to find like a style like this and of course there was only one so you'll see it may have come home with me they had so many cool looking shelves and just so much cute decor i really need to go back i feel like when i go alone i get so overwhelmed i need to go with like my mama or my friend <laughs> and like take some time and really look at everything because Oh, I just live for it. The fall floral in like this pastel. Oh, just so, so much pretty floral. So many pretty things. Uh, I they, Really good stuff. They even had crystals. I could tell that they were getting ready for inventory. As you can see, these little tags everywhere. So I kind of felt in the way at some point because there were boxes everywhere. Uh, so I just looked at what I could and I was searching for those little green bowls. Um, there's supposed to be three different ones, like a pink one, a clear one, and a green one, and there's little glass bowls, but they were out. It took me forever to even figure out what aisle they were supposed to be in, but they were just out, even though the website said they had them. I also peeked at the birdhouses, then got too overwhelmed and decided I would wait, <laughs> wait to go look at them with my mom, uh, because I want to make sure I get, you know, a big enough one, the right one. The little ones were cute, but she said a bigger one would probably be better, so got to work on that. I need to get a squirrel feeder. As well so I check out the mirrors they definitely had some cute ones honestly I may have caved and got one had I not been by myself but I wasn't gonna attempt to carry a mirror by myself unless I was really excited if you guys need shelves again I love shelves I just want to put all the crystals and random bottles and all the things on shelves Ross has so many so many and they're so nicely priced and there's so many cute ones uh, they have so many organizers right now which I mean makes sense spring cleaning uh, they had lots of cute rugs. I really want to get another new one for the filming room and lots of colors. I don't know if I should get another shake one though because I feel like they just get so tangly so quick but I do love the pink ones. I thought this little candle thing was cute and then these little these little bottles. I was more into the little bottles than anything else. I was somehow entertained by the shape of this candle. They had so many so many good candles. 
Uh, lots of cute stuff. More shelves. I went to another aisle and there was a whole aisle with a bunch of shelves in it. So I love this one so much. I need to just cave and get it. I keep seeing it, but I don't need it, need it. I thought this was cute. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a planter or what because it wasn't quite a shelf. These were really neat looking. Kind of, kind of want them. Um, these were cute too. Lots of bees, lots of butterflies. But yeah, that's pretty much what I saw at Ross. Uh, I guess I will meet you back at the car. Uh, I think these little containers are cute. There is a cute chair. I couldn't remember. I thought it ended there. Sorry, guys. Now I'm just <laughs> rambling like a crazy person. But I looked at the furniture really quick. Normally, there's even more that I like, but there were some cute pieces. I really liked this, but I don't have $70 right now. Someday. Okay, that's it. And then this is what I actually ended up picking up. I got the shelf. I caved, and then I got a couple of these cute little jars, which were only $1.99. So cute. Oh my goodness. Something gave me a tiny little cut, and I just sanitized the air hurts so bad oh my goodness so i just showed you i'm sure what i picked up at michael's i did not get anything at ross there was a mirror that i kind of liked but i bought the shelf today and that was way more than i even it was only 30 dollars, but it was still way more than i planned on spending i was planning to come to michael's and spend like under 15 dollars <laughs> today uh i looked everywhere for those glass bowls as i'm sure i already told you could not find them at all so that's okay we will try again another day that whole collection was so stinking cute so stinking cute um so i think i'm gonna go ahead and head home i might stop at the store but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because i think with my rambles all the hair stuff and those boxy charms this is gonna be the most random longest ramble ever and i bet my lash is my lash popping off girl i bet she is hold on uh but yeah i'm just mentally i don't know i feel like the amount of energy that i can manage these days is just so much less uh hopefully that's better at the end of this journey that i'm on with my health but i think i'm gonna head towards my home <sighs> excuse me i might go to trader joe's like i said but i'm just gonna stop rambling hopefully you guys enjoyed this sorry it was chaotic <laughs> and so hopefully you i don't know what are words what are words? I don't know what words are anymore. I should have gotten that coffee because my brain is like, but you've been drinking so much coffee every day. Why you not drink all the coffee today? Um, but I really got to stop. I'm going to figure my life out. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know where you want me to go next, where you want me to go shopping or whatever, or what you want to see in a vlog. I know some of you guys want an at-home vlog, but I don't know. I just need to get out of the house sometimes. And sometimes vlogging helps me get out of the house. So We'll do another at-home vlog again at some point, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for being so amazing, and I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye. 30 plus, 28 plus, 85 plus, 32, plus 40 plus, 24 is 239. Ugh, poopy booty. All I want to eat is tofu right now. Is that weird? Tofu and rice. Tofu and rice. Teriyaki tofu and rice comfort meal does anyone else have that where they like hyper fixate on one meal for like a certain amount of time <gasps> excuse me <laughs>